Hi friends, myself Pradeep Kumar Singh and again here on the behalf of Engineers Institute of India. Uh, in the last video, uh, we have covered the topic of the CRE and the uh, mass transfer. Now we are going to cover the topic of the process dynamics and control. Okay. Now, the some question in the gauge Johnson has given in the process dynamics and control. <coughs> the first question, which is based on the uh, open loop transfer function and the Rouse uh, basically uh, unstability criteria, Rouse error stability criteria. Now. In the problem, they have given the process transfer function GP S is equal to 10 upon this second order transfer function S square plus 2S plus 100. Okay, this is the process. Now, and they have also given that the transfer function of the measuring element and the transfer function of the final control element, this control wall is equal to unity. This is one. Okay. Now, in this question, you have to find out and they use the proportional con PI controller GC is the PI controller which is KC into 1 plus 1 upon tau i into s ok now and the value of integral time constant is given as a 0 0.1 minute ok now and you have to find out what is the value of the KC for the system to become critically stable means critically stable means you can say what is the value of the KC for which the system will become marginally stable ok now First of all, from the Rouse here, you have to find out the characteristic equation which is equal to 1 plus g open loop. Now, 1 plus g open loop is equal to 0, which is called characteristic equation. Okay? Now, and g open loop is equal to gp, gc, gf into gm. 1 plus gp, gc, gf, and gm. This is equal to 0. Now, if you solve this equation, you will get the polynomial. Now, all the values are given here, 1 plus gp is given as a 10 upon s square plus 2s plus 100, okay? And gc is the pi controller, means kc into tau i is given as a 0 0.1 minute in the problem. Now, 1 plus 1 upon 0 0.1 into s. And GS, gf and gm is equal to 1, this is simple. Now, if you solve this equation, you will get a polynomial. And the polynomial will simply, you will get, if you solve the equation, you will get a polynomial like, I am just writing here, s cube plus 2s square plus s, 100 plus 10 kc plus 100 kc is equal to 0. This is the polynomial on solving the 1 plus z open loop is equal to 0. Now, here you have to find the value of kc for which the system will become critically stable. Now, from the Rouse here, just plot the Rouse here, s2, s square, 1, 0. Now, just put the values 1, 2, 100 plus 10 kc, 100 kc. Now, here, since this value, here I am giving the this is x. Now, x is equal to 2 into this value minus this into this upon 2. It means if you solve, you will get the simply the value is equal to 100 minus 40 kc. And this, this is y. Now, since this is known to you, x you have put here. And y you have to find out. If you again from the right side, if you plot, the y is equal to simply 100 kc. Now, if you put all the values here, value of x and y, you will get the result like 100 minus 40 kc and this is your 100 kc. This is 0, this is 0. Now, since they have asked what is the value of kc for which system is going to be stable, now, and this condition will arise when the one row of Rouse array, all element of any row of Rouse array will become 0. This can't be 0 means you can put only this value as a 0. If you put here 0, means this value will be 0 only means 100 minus 40 kc that should be equal to 0 for the each elements of the any row of the round area uh, for become to 0. Now, it means if you solve 100 equal to 40 kc, this kc is going to simply 100 upon 40 if you solve this is 2.5 means when the case is equal to 2.5 
the all element of this row will become zero and this condition corresponds to the system to become marginally stable or you can say that the system will become critically stable okay this is the value of the case now the next question of the process dynamics control <coughs> is based on the control wall now let's see now in this question this question is totally based on the control wall now in the problem they have given that 14% change in the stem position means they have given value of x okay is first is 0.1 when x is 0.1 the value of q they have given q is for it is 2 meter cube per hour 2 meter cube per second 2 meter cube per second now when x2 when the more percentage of valve has opened means up to 20 percent means 0.2 is there then Q2 the current has increased to 3 meter cube per second now and they have asked what is the value of Q3 when the wall has opened up to 50 percent means 0.5 this is a problem now and they have since you as you know that the characteristic of the control wall is f versus x this is l by l and this is q by q max and that's why the range is 0 to 1 and this is 0 to 1 now there are different types of control wall and this is in the problem they have given that this wall is an equal percentage wall equal percentage type of wall for equal percentage of wall the equation this is for equal percentage and as you know that for the equal percentage the relationship between f and x is equal to f is equal to you can say simple r for x minus 1 okay now where r is called turn down ratio now in the and f is called q upon q max Okay, now just use this concept here from the first data you can put here the value of q1 since q1 is equal to 2 meter cube per hour q max is unknown to you and here r and x is given to as a x1 that is 0 0.1 minus 1 okay now in the second from the second data you can put here q2 which is equal to 3 again q max is the same and r is equal to simple 0 0.5 sorry 0 0.2 here in the second case 0 0.2 minus 1 now if you divide the equation first and second you will get the value of r because q max q max will cancel out and you can get the value of r you will get the value of r is equal to if you solve you will get the value of r is equal to 57.66 okay now you, for the third case they have R, what is the value of Q3 upon Q max and when R is known to you now 57.66 and this for X3 is given at 0 0.5 minus 1 now divide the equation suppose this equation number first this equation number second and this equation number third now divide the equation third by either second or first you can get the value of Q3 now suppose I am dividing the equation third equation third by equation number second and if you divide, you will get the value of Q3 is equal to 10.124 meter cube per second. This is the answer. Okay. Now, this is the question based on the process dynamics and control. And uh, for the more information, you can go through our website, the EII Delhi at redgmail.com, and also you can prefer our study material for the more detailed study. Okay. Thank you.